Moving on, First and Fourth Amendment rights need not apply on United States borders. Just before New Year's, a federal judge in New York ruled that the government's controversial searches of individuals' laptops, cell phones, and other devices at the border do not violate an individual's right to privacy and free speech. The lawsuit was brought by the American Civil Liberties Union and other organizations after a university student on a train from Montreal to New York in 2010 had his laptop seized by Customs and Border Protection officers for 11 days. The ACLU argued such searches were part of a broader pattern of aggressive government surveillance. However, U.S. District Judge Edward Corman dismissed that claim. He argued that such searches are very rare, a 10 in a million chance, he said, and that if people don't want to be searched, then they shouldn't travel with electronic devices. He basically said, quote, while it is true that laptops may make overseas work more convenient, the precautions plaintiffs may choose to take to mitigate the alleged harm associated with the remote possibility of a border search are simply among the many inconveniences associated with international travel. This is the fourth court to rule on the issue. Two other federal appeals courts upheld the searches, while one court ruled that such searches should require reasonable suspicion.